NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang at a World Summit in Dubai told the audience that we should stop teaching kids how to code and that it's no longer a vital human skill. Now, do you want to know why he said this and what skills he thinks we should teach kids instead? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn that and more. Plus, you'll find out why you've been brainwashed on the whole learn to code movement. The term learn to code originated in 2014. It first appeared in a BuzzFeed quiz entitled, Should You Learn to Code? And over the course of a decade, it snowballed into something much more nefarious. After BuzzFeed's quiz and later in 2014, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg insinuated that recently fired coal workers in West Virginia should simply learn to code to get a new job. And by doing this, Zuck created a gigantic controversy. When you think about it, what Zuck said is kind of ridiculous. Telling a 50-year-old coal worker, someone who might have zero computer experience, to learn to code is like telling a sumo wrestler to become a ballerina and dance around on their tiptoes. Even former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg thought what Facebook CEO insinuated was a joke. He said in this quote, Mark Zuckerberg says you can teach them to code and everything will be great. I don't know how to break it to you, but no. Now let's fast forward five years. In 2019, the learn to code meme took an ironic twist. At the time, the Huffington Post and Buzzfeed laid off a large portion of their journalists. Consequently, trolls on social media mocked them, stating they should just learn to code and get a new job. And these insensitive statements got a lot of people upset, including a famous blog editor, Patrick George. He tweeted this at the time. I believe there's a special dedicated section of hell just for people with anime Twitter avatars who tell laid off journalists to learn to code. It's crazy how karma works though. You see the people posting learn to code to these fired journalists were trying to stick it to them because a lot of these laid off writers were the same people calling for the blue collar coal miners to learn to code in 2014. Payback sucks. Then things got even more weird. Twitter and other social media companies outright censored and suspended accounts that were posting the words or hashtags learn to code. These tech giants were doing this even if it wasn't harassment. Basically, censorship on the level of a communist country. So what's the point of all this? Well, over the last decade, and whether right or wrong, everyone has been force-fed the idea that you have to learn to code. And if you didn't take that advice, you were taught your current job could go by the wayside due to innovation, and you could be left jobless with no relevant skills. Things got so out of control that there was even a call for toddlers to learn how to code in preschools. So when the NVIDIA CEO spoke in Dubai about kids and computer programming, he shocked the world. Here's what he said. I'm going to say something and it's, it's going to sound completely opposite of what people feel. Over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on the stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. The countries, the people that understand how to solve a domain problem in digital biology or in education of young people or in manufacturing or in farming, those people who understand domain expertise now can utilize technology that is readily available to you. You now have a computer that will do what you tell it to do. It is vital that we upskill everyone and the upskilling process, I, I believe, will be delightful, surprising. Jensen believes that everything that you've been taught about how you have to learn to code was apparently wrong and humans need to decouple from this mindset. The reason being is that artificial intelligence will be able to do all of the computer programming for us. That's right, all of it. Humans won't have to learn or touch any computer code. AI will do it all for us. So for instance, say you have the next million dollar iPhone app idea. Instead of hiring a developer and paying them $10,000 or more, simply tell AI the idea of your app and what you want it to look like, done. AI will create it for you and publish it to the Apple App Store in minutes. Say you need a website for your new coffee shop. Enter a simple prompt describing what you want the website to look like, bam! 
AI will spit out a beautiful site for you in seconds. And these are just a couple of the examples. Jensen's theory is that AI will be able to do anything a computer programmer can do. So human developers and programmers will become obsolete. Instead of teaching kids to program, Jensen suggests that we teach our kids how to solve domain problems. Domain problems are problems that are in a specific industry or niche that have yet to be solved. So for example, there are tons of issues that have yet to be solved in farming, biology, and manufacturing. Issues that can't be solved with AI alone. Those more human-based industries are the ones that Jensen wants us to teach our kids instead of teaching them how to program. So the next time someone tells you with a smug grin to learn to code after you've been fired from your job, smirk right back at them and tell them to learn to farm. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more about how AI impacts our lives, check out my other vid, BrainGPT, the new AI tool that is reading people's minds. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.